What's up everyone, this is Phil with Avid Films and by the title of the video you probably already guessed it, I bought my very first lot. So the lot, I bought it for $4,000 and the way I bought it for that is uh, I actually knew the guy. They're, it's my dad's friend so um, I got it through him. He basically sold it to me for what uh, he had in the lot. So. Um, that was how I was able to find a pretty good deal on it. But the lot itself, it's 100 foot wide by 150 foot deep. Um, so like a little bit less than half an acre. And so um, I bought the lot back in March and I haven't been able to really do anything with it because I had to get a driveway. And so in order to get a driveway, I had to get a permit because it's on a state road. And so in order to do that, it takes like 10 to 12 weeks to get it. Well, it actually took 16 weeks and four days. So um, it took a while. Um, but I finally just got the driveway in like two days ago. Um, I cut a tree down. Um, I've really just been mowing it and maintaining it. Ever since I first bought it, we had to bring a tractor in to just kind of knock down all the growed up grass and all that. And um, yeah, like I said, I've just been mowing it after that. But uh, yeah, now it's looking all right. Like I said, I got a tree knocked down, got the driveway in. And so right now we'll, uh, we'll go right over there and let you see how it's looking. All right, so rolling up to the lot right now, you can see the driveway. This is my second time driving on it. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. So, here it is. Let me get outside. I'll show you around. All right, so this is the lot in all its glory. This is the driveway. Like I said, this is only my second time driving on it. But uh, the dude did a really good job. I'm proud of it. Happy with it. And yeah, like I said, so the lot is 100 feet wide by 150 feet from that post all the way back there to that fence. And so this is one of the trees I cut down while the people were here putting in the driveway. So yeah, my plan is to just move my tiny house out here and probably set it around right in here. I had some poles sticking up, but I got tired of mowing around them, so I took them out. But yeah, move my tiny house here, try to rent it out. The plan is like, not even two three minutes down that way so it's going to be a good location for a rent house yeah these are some of the piles i got to burn um i'm getting this tree knocked down next week hopefully and so i'll probably just add it to these piles and then start burning them one by one or something so yeah like i said all i've been really doing to the lot is just mowing it because it's kind of hard to do anything without a driveway so driveway's finally in looking great the camry it's got a donut on it right now don't pay no attention to that. Had a, I ran into a pothole, <laughs> ruined my tire. But um, so yeah, what I plan to do with this is this is my neighbor's house. Um, I plan to put a fence up. So the property line is basically this fence right here, um, all the way to that post right there. Yeah, to that little uh, stake with a flag on it. See, so yeah, that's my property line. But um, I gotta wait till I'm talking to my neighbor right now. He's supposed to move this building on his side a little bit. It's only like two, three foot off on my side. But um, even on the survey when I got it, he had another building. He already moved it though. It was on my side as well. But this one's still on. I've been working with him. He's gonna move it. And then once he moves this, and then like I said, once this tree gets cut down next week, I plan to put up a privacy fence right along here just so I don't have to, you know, just some privacy. I ain't gonna look at all this shit. But. Yeah, so that'll look good. I feel like it'll make my lot bigger, look bigger once I get that on there. So yeah, like I said, I'll probably put my house somewhere around uh, right in here just because I got to leave the back for like the septic drainage and all that. So yeah, probably somewhere up here. That way I won't have a too long of a driveway. That'll be, it'll be easy to maintain. Um, and then, let's see, let's see. So my neighbor, he's been talking about selling his house. And if he does, I asked him, you know, if he would consider selling me up to where his fence is, the corner of his chain link fence, if he would sell that to me, that'd be super great. That way it just gives me a little bit more room to play with my lot and so I could possibly, you know, build another house or maybe two depending on how much room I have with the septic and everything. But yeah, as for the next steps, I wanna drop that tree next week and then once the tree is dropped, he gets that building moved, then we're gonna build that fence. And then after that, um, I got a lot of money to save up. I just paid for the driveway and it's probably gonna be like five, six thousand dollars. I don't know. He sold me around five thousand, but um, he hasn't gotten back with me on a firm price yet. But either way, I gotta pay for that and then I gotta save up money for a septic, 
water well. So yeah, like I said, it's gonna take some time, but um, that's okay though, just cause I still, you know, gotta clean it up some, like especially just around the trees, getting all that cleaned up, build a fence, you know, that won't be that much money. But um, yeah, that's what I wanna do. So like I said, I got time to think. If he'll sell me up to that chain link fence over, that'll give me a lot more room to maybe do something. But if he doesn't, my plan is still to just go ahead and move my house out here, right over here, and then just uh, rent it out, hopefully. And then that'll be my little extra monthly income I got right there. And then I also thought about putting up a little billboard right here, like a small one, maybe a four by eight sheet of plywood. Uh, like I said, this road's pretty busy at times just because the plant is right over there. Um, so I thought I could maybe get like two, three, four hundred dollars a month extra just for having you know that there. But yeah, that's my lot. It's cold as shit. I'm trying to get back in my car and uh, show you it one more time. This is it. Like I said, fence, cut the tree down, and then I gotta get septic, water well, electricity, and then move my house here, and then bam, it's ready to go. So like I say, five, six more months, and then we'll be good. All right, yeah, so that was my lot. That's how it's looking as of today. And like I said, I, my plan is to move my tiny house out there and try to rent it out. But um, if you got any ideas on what you think I should do, um, just let me know. Um, like I said, my plan changes every week, so I'm definitely open to ideas. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and just hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.